We see in the documentary he aligned himself with one of the opposite, the main opposition in Cambodia. Why didn't he go to either the ruling party or other party in the government? Uh, I'm not, I don't want to say that I can explain everything that Chiavichia is thinking, but I could say that in general, if you are representing a certain group like workers and there's a political contest going on, you would look to align yourself with the political group that represents the interests of your workers. And it's like unions in every country in the world. They support certain candidates and certain political parties. And it should be, and normally is, and it should be, based on which political candidate or party they think is going to make life better for their members. Who is going to, which political party will defend labor rights, improve working conditions, increase the number of jobs. It's uh, to say that there was some criticism uh, of the union for supporting a particular political party, and they haven't always supported any one party. They've shifted around a little bit. But if you look around the world, it's what unions do everywhere. It's part of representing your membership. I'd like to show you another clip from which documentary that we uh, just saw uh, last night. Now, Rich, from the clip that we have just seen, uh, we saw that at Chivichir's funeral, there were high profile uh, politician coming to attend his uh, funeral. So what make those people so interested in coming to such an event? Well, again, I, I don't want to say that I know exactly what all of those people were thinking. But Chiavichia was certainly one of the most popular individuals in the, in the political uh, world in Cambodia and uh, you can see in the film and, and many people saw in, in person how many tens of thousands of people went to the funeral and the outpouring of emotion that was there. At the same time, Chia Vichia was, was popular not, not only among all the people that you see in the streets of Phnom Penh but also with other political figures in Cambodia. So. It's, I, you know, as far as I know, it can be a genuine, a genuine show of respect and a genuine show, sign of, of grief uh, and a desire to, um, to, to show that you are, if you're a politician, to, to show that you are in line with the thinking of, of that person. Um, there were attempts to show who killed Chivichi in Cambodia, but it was banned. The authority didn't allow the movie to show in public uh, places. So in the future, how will you ensure that this film uh, can be seen by audience inside uh, of Cambodia because they have the right to know what happened to uh, their leaders, especially those workers? Right. Uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a 
an interesting project and not necessarily an easy one. But, uh, but as you said, Cambodian people have the right to access all information. It says in the Cambodian constitution, it says very clearly, freedom of expression and freedom of assembly are guaranteed. And Cambodia has also signed the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which specifies that all people have the right to access information through any media and regardless of borders. So as far as we know, and I think as far as anybody knows, it is not illegal to show this movie in Cambodia. The Constitution and the, Uni and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, these are the highest laws of the land in Cambodia, as they are in the U.S. for the U.S. Constitution. So, as to specifically how it will be done, uh, these are plans that are still in formation, but, but we do hope that any Cambodian who wants to see this movie will be able to see it, and we will do everything that we can to make sure. And as for yourself, have you ever been back to Cambodia, and are you scared to go back? Uh, am I scared to go back? You know, I have, uh, I have never been scared of going to Cambodia because uh, when I go to Cambodia, I feel that I'm among people that I trust. And those who actually helped you put together all these documentary because it require hidden camera. So what happened to them? Uh, nothing, nothing has happened to them. Uh, of course, anyone doing this kind of work has to be a little bit careful, but uh, any, any Cambodians who, who may have helped us in some way were, of course, doing this work because they love Cambodia and they are trying to make their country better. It's, uh, for them, it's, I, th I think, uh, a very patriotic act.